And good morning. We meet once again. Before we get started, before we get started, I found, I was checking late night talk show out and I figured everybody would enjoy this. Scientist was on and the host, we're talking to him and the scientist said there's three possible reasons for our creation. The first being that DNA was deposited into the primordial soup. The second was aliens deposited on deposited us onto this planet. Well, they didn't buy the first two reasons. The third, the third reason, the third reason we that got bought, and the most popular reason now, is that there was a creator that put us on this planet. So there's a little th food for thought for you. Today we'll be reading, our Bible reading will be Philippines chapter 4, 13 through 19. And if everybody would turn into their Bibles, the church online, if you turn into your Bibles. It says, I can get all the, I can get, I can do all the things through Christ which strengthen me. Notwithstanding ye have well done that ye did communicate with my affliction. Now ye Philippines know also that in the beginning of the gospel when I departed from Macedonia no church communicated with me as concerning giving and receiving but ye only. For even in Philosconia ye sent once and again until, until, until my necessarily, necessity. Not because I desire a gift, but I desire fruit that may abound to your account. That I have all and abound, I am full, having received the epithetus, the things which were, which were sent from you, an odor, a sweet smell, a sacrifice acceptable, well-pleasing to God. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Today's sermon message is tax season. About taxes. Tax season is here. Some people get in their taxes and here in New York State some they want to withhold the federal tax or the state tax for a few months to pay our bills. So we're going to have a uh, kind of a story instead of really a message today for, for tax season. A story is told of a tax assessor who came up one day to a poor Christian to determine the amount of taxes he would have to pay. The following conversation took place. What property do you possess? asked the assessor. I am a very wealthy man, replied the Christian. List your possessions, please. The assessor instructed, this is what the Christian said. He said, first, I have ever, everlasting life. In John chapter 3, verse 16, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whatsoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Second, he said, I have a mansion in heaven. From John chapter 14, verse 2, In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go, I go to prepare a place for you. Third, I have a peace that passes all understanding. Philippians chapter 4, verse 7. And the peace of God which passes all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through, G through Christ Jesus. Fourth, I have joy unspeakable. From 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 8. Whom... Having not seen, ye love, 
in whom through now we see not him not, yet believing, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. Fifth, I have divine love which never fails. I Corinthians, First Corinthians said, Charity never falleth, but whether there be prophecies, there shall fail, whether there, shall, whether there be tongues, there shall cease, whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. Sixth, I have a faithful wife, Proverbs 31, verse 10 through 12. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is for, her, uh, for above rubies. The heart of her, of her husband doth safely trust in her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. Seventh, I have, a, I have healthy, happy, obedient children. <laughs> Exodus 20, verse 12. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. <laughs> Ephesians chapter 6, verse 3. This, that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. Eighth, I have true loyal friends. Proverbs 18.24 A man that hath friends must shrew himself friendly, and there is a friend that's stricken closer than a brother. Ninth, I have songs in the night. Psalms 42 verse 8 Yet the Lord will command his loving kindness in the daytime, and in the night his song shall be with me and my prayer unto the God of my life. Tenth, I have a crown of life, James 1, verse 12. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Eleventh, I have a doctor that is on call at all times, and he makes house calls. 